Hello to all and welcome to Star Wars Opinion. So when the Empire Strikes Back, Darth Vader video chats with the Emperor while the Imperial fleet is searching an asteroid field for the Millennium Falcon. During their conversation, the Emperor mentions Luke as a great threat to them both. Vader suggests that Skywalker is not as dangerous as the Emperor says, and that turning Luke to the dark side would be more fruitful than killing him. The Emperor agrees that Luke would be a great asset, and the conversation ends. So how did the Emperor know about Luke? Not only that he existed, but also his name. First off, I need to mention that dialogue in this scene has two somewhat different versions. One is the original dialogue from 1980. There is a great disturbance in the Force. I have felt it. We have a new enemy, Luke Skywalker. Yes, my master. He could destroy us. He's just a boy. Obi-Wan can no longer help him. The Force is strong with him. The son of Skywalker must not become a Jedi. If he could be turned, he would become a powerful ally. Yes. Yes. He would be a great asset. Can it be done? He will join us or die, Master. The other version was the 2004 DVD release. There is a great disturbance in the Force. I have felt it. We have a new enemy. The young rebel who destroyed the Death Star. I have no doubt this boy is the offspring of Anakin Skywalker. How is that possible? Search your feelings, Lord Vader. You will know it to be true. He could destroy us. He's just a boy. Obi-Wan can no longer help him. The Force is strong with him. The son of Skywalker must not become a Jedi. If he could be turned, he would become a powerful ally. Yes. He would be a great asset. Can it be done? He will join us or die, Master. In the original dialogue, the Emperor calls Luke by his full name. Luke Skywalker. In the newer version, he identifies Luke first as the young rebel who destroyed the Death Star. He then speculates that the pilot is the offspring of Anakin Skywalker. Vader questions the likelihood of that being the case, and the Emperor tells Vader to search his feelings. He tells Vader, You know it to be true. That's the difference between the two versions. Now, taking both into account, how did the Emperor know about Luke? First off, There is a great disturbance in the Force. What does that mean? Luke's active use of the Force when destroying the Death Star has upset the rough status quo the Force has maintained for the last two decades. Force users as strong as the Emperor and Vader are going to sense that change. They both say as much. There is a great disturbance in the Force. I have felt it. Now, what caused this disturbance? According to the Emperor, it's a new enemy. This makes sense since previously, any disturbance in the Force correlated with an enemy of theirs. There's a great disturbance in the Force. A powerful Jedi survives in the mid rim I just had to throw that in there, but seriously. There has been a great disturbance in the Force. The death of Kanan Jarrus has altered the fate of Lothal, though how, I cannot say. Who is this enemy? Who else but the person who pulled off the impossible by blowing up the Death Star? The Emperor says as much in the newer version and then extrapolates that it is most likely the offspring of Anakin Skywalker. In the original, he simply states that it's Luke Skywalker. In the 2004 version, Vader is skeptical of this being the case, while in the original he merely says, Yes, my master. Continuing with the newer version, Vader is told that he knows it to be true. Okay, so the Emperor knows who the enemy is, but how does he know his name? Or that he's Anakin's son? Vader had only recently learned the name of the rebel pilot from Boba Fett, and after encountering Luke face to face, he realized that Luke is his son. There's no indication that the Emperor knew any of this. 
That said, Vader was not the type of person to spend Star Destroyers in an asteroid field attempting to find someone alive. Not unless he was a father searching for his long-lost son. This is where the newer version fits better, since the Emperor never refers to Luke by his first name. He doesn't know it. In fact, he refers to Luke in Return of the Jedi as Young Skywalker, Boy, Jedi. Never as Luke. But he does know that this is a powerful new enemy who is quite young, who destroyed the Death Star, and who Vader is trying to find no matter the cost. The Emperor can also sense Vader's feelings and on a hunch that it's Skywalker's son says as much. Vader's reaction only confirms the fact for the Emperor. Well, that's it for today. What do you think? How did the Emperor know about Luke? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.